Welcome back everybody. I want to show you a video where I did an ILS into Brunswick, Georgia and I got down below minimums without seeing the runway environment and show you what allowed me to get down below minimums. And then a flight back to Fernandina where the ceiling was above minimums and about six to eight hundred feet and it did RNAV uh, GPS approach into Fernandina. See you in flight. It's a bit of a nasty day today in um, Fernandina and surroundings. Definitely IFR, low IFR. But a good day to do some practice approaches, to tell you the truth. Ceiling here is 800 feet. Ceiling at Brunswick, Golden Isles is 200. It's got an ILS over there, and I want to go do an ILS up there. And um, show you the ILS on the 275. Come back here and do an RNAV uh, in 204. Right now, winds are coming from the northeast. So, um, I filed round, round robin with uh, remarks of um, of uh, practice approach, ILS 07 approach into Brunswick, and um, show you that. First, let me show you the weather at Brunswick. Winds from the northeast, 010 at 4, so it's good, ceiling 200 feet. So, let's go look at the uh, approach. Procedures LS07. So, 200 feet ceiling, 226 is minimums. Airports at 26. So, we'll see if we uh, are able to see the runway environment. They've got Mausers. So, once I see the lights, uh, I can drop down 100 feet above uh, field. So when can we go below minimums in an approach that is MDA or DA or DH? And I saw a really nice summary in boldmethod.com which helped clarify somewhat the FAR 91.175 subparagraph C that tells us in good FAA verbiage when we can get down below minimums. And there's three requirements. One is you have to be in a continuous position to land with normal descent maneuvers. And two, you must be able to see. So you gotta have a required visibility that exceeds the minimums published for the approach. And you need to be able to see the runway environment. Of course, if you don't see the runway, you can't land. So those are pretty obvious. And first one is you can't go dive onto the, do the approach with a dive. That, that doesn't work. You should go around in that case. So, what are the runway environment visual references? And you can subdivide these into two groups. Those that let us get down to 100 feet above the touchdown zone elevation, and number two, those that let us land. The, one that, the ones that let us get down to 100 feet above the touchdown zone elevation are basically the approach lighting system. If we see any part of the approach lighting system, any of the white lights, we can descend below the MDA, below the minimums, MDA, DA, or DH, down to 100 feet above the touchdown zone elevation. So it doesn't matter where the minimums are in relationship to the runway, the important part is that we can't get down to 100, more than 100 feet above the touchdown zone. And it doesn't matter either whether it's a precision or non-precision approach. Finally, to be able to land and get down below 100, we need to be able to see runway environment. And that's actually either the ALS's red terminating bars or red side, side row bars. You gotta be able to see either any of these things and uh, I'll just run through them. Runway threshold, the threshold lights, the runway end identifier lights, the VASCs or PAPIs, the touchdown zone or the markings on it, the touchdown zone lights, the runway or runway markings or the runway lights. Any of those lets us get down to land. Of course, those give us a good reference of where the runway is so we can go land. I'm going to get my clearance on the ground here and it doesn't sound like I'm going to be clear to take off until this other aircraft lands.
Fernandina Beach Municipal Airport Automatic Weather Observation One Niner Four Six Zulu Weather Wind Zero Six Zero At Three Visibility Four Mist Ceiling Six Hundred Overcast Temperature One Seven Celsius Dew Point Missing Altimeter Two Niner Eight Eight Okay Got that Flight plan, wait for my clearance. Tax approach. All right, you won't be able to hear him. Yes, sir, Jack's approach. Uh, this is Mooney November 495 Charlie Papa on the ground at Fernandina. Uh, requesting IFR clearance to uh, K B Q K Brunswick Golden Isles and back to Fernandina. Mooney four hundred five Charlie Papa is cleared as filed. The climb maintained two thousand and five expect five thousand ten minutes after departure one twenty seven oh four two four four. And uh, please be advised that I would like to do an ILS practice approach into uh, Brunswick. I put that in the remarks. I don't know if you saw that. I'm number one and ready to go. 2495 Charlie Papa, uh, release for takeoff, void if not off by five minutes, call back 10 minutes, and uh, upon uh, entering control airspace, direct destination up to 2000. Five Charlie Papa. Fernandina Beach traffic, 2495 Charlie Papa, taxiing on 204, departing 04, northbound departure. Okay, I'm on the right runway. Engine instruments are good. Air speed's alive and climbing. Keep the center line. Here's coming up. 700 feet for controlled airspace. Jacksonville approach, Mooney 495, Charlie Papa, 900, climbing 2000, direct Brunswick, Golden Isles. Mooney 495, Charlie Papa, Jack's departure, Ident, and you can climb maintain 5000 now. 5000, 5 Charlie Papa. Actually, if you're just looking for, if you just want to practice approach, uh, 5 Charlie Papa, Mendoza, you maintain 3000. 3000, 5 Charlie Papa. And 5 Charlie follows the radar contact to North Fernandina Beach. Where the base is at out there? Uh, about uh, 1,100 feet max. Roger that. I'm sorry. Bases are about uh, 800 and tops about 1,100. 5 Charlie Papa, thank you. All right. Over so 5 Charlie Papa, contact Jack, center 126.75. 126.75, 5 Charlie Papa. Jacksonville Center, Mooney 495, Charlie Papa, 3000, direct uh, Brunswick, Golden Isles. 495, Charlie Papa, Jacksonville Center, Roger, and uh, understand you're looking for a practice uh, ILS to runway 7. That is affirmative. I still need to listen to AWOS, but that's correct. Air 495, uh, Charlie Papa, you are partially blocked on your uh, read bank. Uh, I understand you are looking for the ILS of 7, and you said you did have the weather? I'm looking for our ILS-7, and I still haven't got the weather. I was waiting for uh, you to finish. Our 495, Charlie Papa, Roger. And be advised, uh, conditions of the field at, are pretty much at minimum. Uh, were you planning on uh, doing a mist and then uh, going back to Fernandina after, or are you uh, going full stop? That'd be great if I did a mist. Uh, no problem with that. Our 495, Charlie Papa, Roger. You can expect all that. And over 495, Charlie Papa, Roger. And uh, for now, fly heading of uh, 330. 3305 Charlie Papa.
Five Charlie Papa has a was at uh, Brunswick Golden House. Four four nine five Charlie Papa, Roger. All right, visibility is one. Let's set up the minimum is here two two six for now. All right, minimum is our set. Our localizer, 420. 109.8, 109 109.8, 109 I'm gonna read radio 332. So that's radio 332. Five Charlie Papa, fly heading a three one five. Three one five, five Charlie Papa. All right, time to slow down. Five Charlie Papa, slowing down 120 knots. Over five Charlie Papa, Roger. 17 inches, 2300. That's a peak. Nine gallons an hour will save me some fuel. Took off on the right tank. At the better setting, two nine or nine or zero. Again, if I see the Mausers, I'm going to activate them with uh, control lighting on their frequency. Over four nine or five Charlie Papa fighting three two five. Three two five five Charlie Papa. Uh, four nine or five uh, Charlie Papa, you are uh, six miles from Yoko. Flight heading of zero four zero till join the localizer and uh, maintain that above two thousand till established. You're cleared ILS for noise seven approach. Four nine or five Charlie Papa, change your advisory is approved. Report your mess. Zero six nine. Getting there. Speed brakes. Got the glide slope. Alrighty. Put the gear down. There's down and locked. Can't put flaps down yet. All right. Waypoint. All right. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Blue Street 5568, contact Charlotte approach 126. Golden Isles traffic, Mooney 495, Charlie Papa is uh, five mile final, ILS 07 zero, uh, zero approach. All right, let's put flaps down. Heading, same heading, 069. 3000. All right. 900. Turn the lights on. Almost there, 226 minimums. 420 for localizer. Still got the glide slope.
don't see anything yet. I, I got him. Minimums. Minimums. Got the lights. I could land. All right. Speed brakes. In. Flaps here. Who remembers all the details about the different approach landing systems? I certainly don't. So I found a really good source for these, which is www.code7700.com. And they do a really, really nice job in giving you diagrams and actual cockpit views and telling you what the distances are for each different types of lights that the systems have. Great. Great, great review, it's about 25 pages long, but it's, uh, if anything's pleasurable and IFR reading, this is certainly enlightening. It's visual, so that's great. So let's look, let's go look at our Mauser. So Mauser stands for Medium Intensity Approach Lighting System with Runway Alignment Indicator Lights, M-A-L-S-R, a big mouthful, anyway. What it has is the center line lights, a roll bar, and flashing lights. Um, no red bars, no nothing else. It's fairly simple. It goes out 2,400 feet out uh, to the beginning of the flashing lights, 1,000 feet at the roll bar, that is from the runway threshold, and uh, two more center line lights, each 200 feet apart, go out to a total of 1,400 feet from the threshold. If you manage to get down to 200 feet above ground, then you'll be about 600 feet from the first flashing light. But because you got to look over the nose, you won't see any of the flashing lights, and I didn't see any of them. Uh, and you might see the rest of the white non-flashing lights. You got to be above 200 feet to be able to see over the nose and see any of these flashing lights. Tracks uh, center Mooney 495 Charlie Papa executing mist, and I could have landed. Air 495 Charlie Papa, Roger, and uh, pay attention. Uh, yes, I'm flying the mist now. Climbing up to 3,000. 1,200, climbing 3,000. Air 495 Charlie Papa, Roger, and uh, would you like to proceed back to Fernandina when you're able? Yes, sir. Just let me go out to uh, Brown, and that will work for me. Air 495 Charlie Papa, Roger. And uh, it's uh, cleared to hold with Brown as published, and uh, expect further clearance at uh, 2045. Advise when you're ready to exit the hold. All direct. Knew that already. 2045 for the clearance, 3000. Or 495, Charlie Pop, are you ready to return to Fernandina? Yes, sir. Five Charlie Papa during this last turn on the hold uh, towards southbound. And our 495 Charlie Papa, Roger, clear to Fernandina at Beach Airport via direct and uh, maintain 3,000 net for now. I'll fire for you here in just a moment. Five Charlie Papa, clear to Fernandina via direct 3,000. Fernandina, Beach, Municipal, Airport, Automatic Weather Observation. Two, zero, three, niner, Zulu, weather, wind, zero, six, zero, at seven, visibility, five, K, ceiling, eight, hundred, broken, one, thousand, three, hundred, broken, temperature, one, six, 
Celsius, two point, missing, altimeter, two, niner, eight, eight. Two, niner, eight, eight. Over four, niner, five, Charlie Papa, contact Jackal, approach one, two, seven, point, zero. One, two, seven, zero, five, Charlie Papa. Okay, I got the weather, so I can tell that. Jack's approach, Booney 495, Charlie Papa 4000 with AWOS at Fernandina requesting RNAV 04. Booney 495, Charlie Papa, Jack's approach, the Jack Town is 2987, expect the RNAV 4. I'm Charlie Papa, I'll be expecting 4, 2987. November 5, Charlie Papa, turn right heading 210. 2105, Charlie Papa. All right, what's the minimum was all there? 265. Oh, got that. We got that 370 radar contact, two miles north of Fernandina Airport. Can you give me the uh, bases and tops? Uh, standby one. Okay, so it's at 317. The bases uh, right around there is about, I call it 800, and the tops are about 1,500. Exit at 370, Roger, thank you. Going to go to, to Wilna or Vectors to Final. We'll find out. Am I doing Vectors to Final, 5 Charlie Papa? 5 Charlie Papa, affirmative. Uh, did you want the full approach? No, Vectors is fine. Appreciate that. Right. November 5 Charlie Papa, expect to join the final just inside Wilna for departures off Jacks. No problem, 5 Charlie Papa. Number five, Charlie Papa, the center, maintain 2000, turn left, heading 1900. 2000, 1900, five, Charlie Papa. Number five, Charlie Papa, we decided to just go ahead and get you in early before the departure. No problem, five, Charlie Papa. All right, so let's go reach a peak here. Mooney five, Charlie Papa, turn left, heading 130. 1305 Charlie Pop. Number 5 Charlie Pop, 4 miles from Schultz, turn left heading 070, maintain out above 2000 to establish, clear down every runway 4 approach. 070, maintain 2000 or above until established, clear for RNAV 04 approach. Bye, Charlie Pop. That messed up things a little bit. Go catch the glide slope here. Here's coming down. Five Charlie Pop in the firm established. Five Charlie Pop established. Five Charlie Papa, thanks for your help. You can report cancellation of IFR either in there on this frequency or on the ground via flight service. Change to advisory frequency approved. Five Charlie Papa, report uh, in the air, probably. Uh, Roger, bases last reported at 800. Uh, just let me know, though. No. I also got a phone number if you want. You can call us directly on the ground. I have a phone number as well, but I'll probably call you in the air. Roger. All right, pass show. This was a dive. All right, he caught the glide slope. Perfect. Turn in there, beach traffic. Mooney 495, Charlie Papa, three and a half mile. Final. RNAV 04, Fernandina, full stop. All right, everything's on good. Turn on. Don't see it. West grade 2000. Okay, I see the runway. Peace, and I'll have it down one turn in just a second. We'll call commuter for the Jack's approach, 25 Charlie Papa, canceling IFR, base is at 600. 25 Charlie Papa, thank you very much for the uh, report. Your IFR cancellation received. Have a great day. 
Thank you, sir. All right. All right, here's drop extra for all facts. Minimums, minimums. Charlie Papa cleared zero four. All right, all them in the air, so I don't need to cancel on the ground. 